Well, hello. Thanks for joining me for a quick wrap-up of the TCS Analyst Day, uh, which was today on September 24th in Boston. As you can see, I'm at the Boston Airport hopping on the plane for my next event, but uh, enough time to capture and hopefully good enough Wi-Fi from Boston Logan Airport. It's free, so you can't complain too much uh, about the takeaway. So first of all, kudos to TCS. I couldn't be here or so late here if they wouldn't have done what I recommended to many companies before, do this at an airport location because you save literally two and a half to three hours of travel time to analysts coming to the event. So kudos to TCS for this, first of all, using the Boston Hilton. No endorsement here, but a local hotel at an airport. Easy to fly in, easy to leave from. So the day started with a good overview presentation uh, by um, Alan Krishnan, the CTO of uh, of TCS, uh, and it's interesting to see how they spend things. I ask him uh, what he's doing on the productization. That's something which is on the mind of many system integrators these days, as we know. And uh, the answer was a little more general conservative. I would say one third is going into um, supporting the classic IP offerings, implement things faster and better. Uh, the second thing is around to support the existing platform. The third is interesting is uh, even with crash and burn uh, innovative ideas, where it's not even clear how TCS might monetize them, like a uh, significant investment that TCS has done in the agriculture space. So, so good to see, but not the prioritization answers you usually hear from some of the competitors uh, thinking about some specific other ones coming from India here. It was also good to see at a good chat uh, over lunch uh, together with um, Pierre Krishnan, who runs uh, the infrastructure business. I was not aware that um, TCS is running their own infrastructure in a number of locations, uh, obviously in India, which makes sense as an opportunity because large IS vendors have not arrived to India yet. But um, also in the UK, in the US, and Australia, and it's coming to further geographies, I believe Canada being one of them, and the Nordic countries being the other one. So I think a good move in general uh, is you do ITO and move things along um, towards an um, outsourcing partner, then there's also the question, can you run the data centers for me? Can you run the service for me? Um, TCS is using um, VMware and is using Cisco. Forgot the third option, there's a third option, how they currently run their infrastructure there. And then along the outsourcing with uh, part, which was luck of my lunch table or not, spoke to Kumar Amitesh, who does more of the business related things. Uh, TCS is doing a lot of things around finance outsourcing. They're also interesting, has built uh, their own uh, product with TAP, uh, TCS accounts pay which is used in supporting around 40 countries right now. So an interesting thing along the trend of EPAS, business process as a service, uh, where you build a platform to run outsourcing operations more efficiently. So a good thing to see. Similarly, um, they standardized around the uh, finance side, uh, around Oracle in the background, and uh, on the HR side, no surprise, around SAP in the background on BP offerings there. But as often seen, the HR outsourcing side is significantly smaller than the finance outsourcing side, and significantly smaller than the IT outsourcing side. Really bummed to have missed, uh, because of flight schedules, uh, the presentation of Ignio, uh, the next generation platform uh, which TCS is building. So look forward to some updates from my colleagues who have been here also, Doug Henschen and uh, Guy Courtin. So really, really bummed about this. Probably I can catch up with this later with the folks from TCS. So encouraging signs, a good investment, good practice, and especially kudos for being an airport location and close to my heart as a runner between marathons. Thanks for sponsoring so many marathons. Uh, good, good news overall for customers uh, on the uh, TCS side. Well, that concludes my short update here from Boston Logan. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it as always.